Opel Ampre E 2017 Review 8. Point. Opel's second generation Ampre is smaller than the first, and now purely electric. It's also very capable with a remarkable range. What is it? This is Opel's, and in a couple of years' time, Vauxhall's, new electric family car. In the mainland Europe, beginning with electric-friendly Norway and followed next by Belgium, Holland, and Germany, it replaces the original Ampra of which so much was expected but which sold in small numbers. That 2011 Ampra was a range extender with a separate petrol engine to power a generator, making the Ampra a viable daily driver with no range anxiety. The new one is fully electric, but Opel's engineers claim a class-leading range of 323 miles on the existing official tests, 236 miles on the more realistic WLTP, Worldwide Harmonized Light Duty Vehicles Test Procedure, tests. If reached in the real world, these figures make the Ampre E the most practical sensible money electric car yet. The key to this usability is a particularly high-capacity battery pack designed and built by LG. Its 288 cells deliver 60 kWh, and the 430 kg assembly sits under the Ampre E's floor with a kicked-up section under the rear seat. There's no center tunnel. The seating position is MPV high with lots of rear legroom, more in this Casa footprint car than in the bigger Astra, and there's a decent 381 liter boot extendable into a 1274 liter cargo bay by folding the rear seat's backrests down. The bonnet, doors and tailgate are made of aluminium. The whole car weighs 1,691 kilograms, and with 201 bhp and 266 pounds foot of torque on offer from its engine, the latter from 0 rpm, it promises to be a lively machine. The Ampra is built by GM in Orion, Michigan in the US, alongside its very similar Chevrolet Bolt sibling. They share a unique, electric-specific platform and running gear. A facelifted version of the original Chevrolet Volt, the car that morphed into Europe's first Ampra, continues in US production. What's it like? Far from looking obviously high-tech and electric, the Ampra comes across simply as the neat-looking compact MPV it is. Only the flap in the left-hand front wing, concealing the charging socket, reveals that things are not quite as they seem. Inside, all the trim panels and the dashboard are hard to the touch but easy enough on the eye. The front seats are trimmed in part perforated leather, the rears in similar looking vinyl, and the floor is completely flat. The dashboard is dominated by an 8-in display ahead of the driver and a 10.2-in center screen, the latter housing sat-nav, the usual settings menus and graphics revealing how and where the energy is flowing. The smaller display includes range state of nattery charge, an indicator showing the rate of current loss or gain of charge, and the speedo. It all looks quite Tesla-like, and there's a raft of connectivity including Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, one or other supplies the sat-nav, and GM's OnStar services system. An induction charging system for the vital smartphone is standard, and the usual suite of safety and parking assist systems is also present. This is a well-equipped car. It's also a quick one, with a ballistic getaway if asked and, in an exact match with BMW's i3, the ability to reach 62 miles per hour in 7.3 seconds it is claimed also to surge from 50 miles per hour to 75 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds but the pace runs out at 93 miles per hour to conserve battery charge. Overtaking and slotting into traffic streams are instantly effortless processes, made more so by an almost silent drivetrain and, on Norwegian roads at least, little road drawer. A new viscous coating system inside the Michelin tires help stamp tire resonances, but more useful is that it permanently seals penetrations of up to 6 mm diameter without loss of pressure. The puncture-proof tire has arrived, it seems. The suspension operates smoothly and quietly, and the Ampra stays level in corners while steering naturally and accurately. It grips gamely, too, with great front-end bite and no excess understeer.
It hides its weight well and proves remarkably good fun to drive. Freshly charged, our test car showed a predicted range of 369 kilometers, or 229 miles. After a normally driven test route of 137 miles, including bus lanes, which electric cars can use in Norway, there were indeed 92 miles left, showing the prediction to have been uncannily accurate. One way of maximizing the range is to manually activate extra regenerative braking by pulling and holding a paddle on the left of the steering column, and with practice and anticipation you can dispense with the foot brake, which itself uses regenerative braking until extra real braking is needed, entirely. The paddle activates the brake lights, of course. It's all very impressive, and rather likable. One snag. Though, is that the heater, which uses rather low-tech electric elements, is very unresponsive. Should I buy one? In Germany the Ampre E costs the equivalent of £29,700, and the UK price is likely to be similar if it comes here. From that you can deduct the £4,500 grant for which it would currently be eligible, although there's no guarantee that will still be the case in 2019 which is the mooted UK launch date. There's also the matter of PSA's acquisition of a controlling interest in GM's European operations, which means that PSA will effectively be buying Amperas from GM. What that means for the business case for right-hand drive is unclear, although GM had previously said it was pressing ahead with RHD. Assuming RHD and a UK presence do happen, you'll find in the Ampre E the most practical and most useful pure electric car yet offered at a relatively low price. That it also looks good, and is a remarkably pleasing drive, makes it a potential winner in our view. Opel Ampre E Location, Oslo, Norway On sale, 2019 Price £29,700 approx motor electric Power, 201 bhp Torque, 266 pounds foot Gearbox, single speed Curb weight, 1,691 kilograms 0 to 62 miles per hour, 7.3 seconds Top speed, 93 miles per hour Range, approx 236 miles, claimed. CO2 slash tax band, 0 gram slash km, 9%. Rivals, Nissan Leaf, Volkswagen e-Golf, e-Golf.